Hi, this is Danielle Nokun. Thank you so much for requesting a copy of this PDF slide deck, What Makes a Presentation Memorable? I am looking forward to hearing what you think about it. And in the meantime, I have a special bonus for you. Just in case you found this video online, maybe you, you're watching this on YouTube and you did not come here through the landing page, I have a link for that in the description below this video. So on to your bonus. I would like to share the resource for the icons I used in your slide deck. And these are just a few sample slides. But this is the page on Gumroad where I originally downloaded this resource from. And I want to be really clear that I did not make this resource and i am not in any way affiliated with the team that did make it i will tell you a little bit more about them in a little while but i really admire this team and i found this resource very useful so i wanted to share it with you so here we are this is the title slide of that deck with the icons and these are the instructions copy and paste your icon change the color and voila but i found out when i started to try and use these icons for myself that it's not quite as straightforward as it sounds so I'm first going to give you a preview of what's inside this uh, slide deck, the line icons. And then I'm going to give you a little demonstration of how to actually use these. So this might not look very impressive at first glance, but some of the things that are in here may surprise you. And also keep in mind that these are quite versatile. Many of these are not one piece. So you can actually mix and match. You can take a piece from one and combine it with a piece from another. And also a lot of these are your common, your universal, web icons that may come in quite handy. The icons that I really thought fun on this slide were the books in the lower right hand corner here that and you can also resize these and you can make them big enough that you can type your own text in them. And on this slide, we actually have the eye icon that I used in your deck. And you will also see this rotary telephone icon that I used for the schedule a call um, slide with me at the end of your deck. And here's where we have some surprising stuff. We have some furniture up here. We have some clothes and we even have a chef's hat and some fruit and cheese down here in the bottom row. In this slide, we have some time related icons here that might come in handy. And in the bottom row, we have the wrench that I used in your slide deck. So this is the team that created this uh, line icon set for us. And 
they are actually now called High Spark. Their website is highspark.co, not .com, but just .co. And they went through a rebrand probably a couple years ago or more than a couple years ago. So I actually typed this in here myself because when I originally downloaded it, they were called Slide Comet. And here is the practice slide, which is my cue to exit out of slideshow mode. And I'm going to pick a couple icons for you. I think it's in this slide. It's the bicycle icon. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to put it in the practice slide, paste it. And what happened to the rest of the icon? So this is what I was telling you that some of these are not one piece. So we'll go back to our slide with the bicycle here. And when you notice that the, so check that the icon you want to use, if it's already one piece, then you're good to go. And if it seems like it's made up of multiple pieces, then what you will want to do is hold down your left mouse button and drag a rectangle around all the pieces around the whole little icon, and then go to the Format tab in the Arrange group. There is a group function, and when you see a solid rectangle around your whole icon, then you know that when you copy and paste it, it's going to stay in one piece. So let's try that. And paste, and there you go. You have your whole bicycle icon. Now it's a little bit smaller than what you would probably be needing. And you can resize it from the front of the ribbon here, but I would recommend going into the size dialog box and clicking the lock aspect ratio, check that box so that when you, you can just type in the height, like let's say estimate, the height that's that you might want, like let's say two inches, you put 2.0 and hit enter. And then the whole, uh, the uh, proportions, it will stay proportionate. Your icon will stay proportionate. And let me just move him to the center here. And I want to show you that now you can change the color of the whole icon even though these are separate pieces, if the whole icon is selected, then you can change the color of the whole thing altogether. So we'll change it to this blue color. And then let's say you want, you want to give some of the pieces a different color. So let's say you want to give the wheels a different color. Click right on one of the wheels and now go to your shape fill and maybe you wanna make those green and then click on the other wheel and make that one green. So even though this icon is grouped and it will travel as one piece, you can change the colors of individual pieces. And just to give you some extra ideas of how you can mix and match these icons, I took the mountain icon 
it's actually a piece of uh, another icon. And I just copied the mountain by itself and I put it together with the bicycle. And that could represent something that's challenging. And the last example, I recommend using animation sparingly, but this is one example where animation would make sense. So let's go in the animations tab. I already added it in. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So that could represent we move mountains. That's what, that's what that was supposed to represent. So I hope that you found this demonstration interesting and helpful and that it sparked some ideas for you. The using icons in your presentations can be a, an easy and simple way to make your ideas visual and by using colors that that pop like that pretty blue that you will see in your slide deck you can also really give your presentation some spice just using simple icons so if you would like to get a copy of this uh, line icons deck for yourself there will be a link or a button below this video thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing what you think about your slide deck and about these line icons. Talk to you soon.